For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Alls Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm going to give you a bit of a sort of a view around our lovely big showroom. So we've got a 30,000 square foot indoor showroom with a massive accessory area. We've got best part of 40 tents up under cover, 20 awnings, a mixture of caravan, also driveway and motorhome awnings as well. A nice big playground for the kids and also a lovely coffee shop which does homemade cakes and dogs always are welcome in to the main shop itself. So let's have a look about what we've got to offer here at Outwards. So we've been running now as a family business for the best part of 80 odd years. Uh, we've established ourselves uh, really in this base in 1936 and have been running as a family sort of fourth generation business now. So into the main shop, we walk through and you've got uh, everything, in, as you can see, it probably is kind of like Aladdin's cave. It's not really much on the outside, but as soon as you come in, it's got tons and tons of space. It goes far back, as you can see, and yet again, also nice and wide in terms to the left. We've got a really nice big clothing area with a lot of brands from Barber to Animal to sort of spray away. So we've got everything covered from sort of country lifestyle all the way to sort of waterproofing. Uh, and yet again, if you're going sort of DV and that sort of stuff, we've got it all covered. Quite an extensive range of footwear as well, uh, with a mixture of brands from sort of high tech all the way through to your higher end stuff from Salomon and Anatom. So it's quite a selection as well as just general things like wellies or you know general footwear. You just want to go for a bit of a ramble. So as you see, quite a nice sort of big area. You get again plenty of choice and also a lot going on. When we talk into more kind of the water sports area, we've also got the uh, lots of kayaks or wetsuits and jelly shoes. So we've got a bit of a range over this area here, as well as obviously extensive flip-flops and some really nice sort of sandals. So it's quite different in what we do. And in terms of clothing area, it's only a really small part of the business. We are sort of really kind of camping and outdoorsy through and through, whether it be clothing to equipment. You may see this little uh, Archie, our dog flying around here. He's pretty much one of the family and you can often see him actually in the store. But if you come on this way, we'll have a look through into the accessory area. So we've got the main, main sort of sales information desk here, uh, obviously along with some nice little dog beds as well. But this kind of is the entry point into the nice big accessory area. So we've got um, tons of aisles, full of items that you can pick if you're choosing. So we've got everything down for aisle one from sort of pegs, uh, yet again to caravan steps, small little accessories. So whether it be just um, little ties or rubbers or anything electrical, you will find quite nicely down aisle number one. Aisle number two, we're looking more down the lines of um, sort of accessories in terms of uh, leisure batteries to small little bits for towing. Thanks to you, Archie, I'll just wrap for you. Um, to toilet chemicals, toilet, portable toilets itself, water carriers, so and yet again, even things for purifying uh, tablets in terms of for water systems, for motorhomes, caravans, you know, it's all down on R number two. As we head on round, we've got our um, main hookups for whether you're going for a camper van or even just for main hookups when you're camping, yet again, you'll find that down here as well. This aisle three is probably one of my favourites. It's got essentially uh, sort of televisions from aerials to lighting equipment, yeah, tons of sort of lights, mains, solar powered and the works. Yeah, again, a, a mixture of awning lights situated here. When we get into sort of the main part of the back part here, we've got quite a massive and extensive range of sleeping bags, all of which are pretty much on display. So you can yet again, if need be, feel and touch the quality and see the size of it. So it gives you a bit more of an impression of what we're dealing with. And, and easily bays ranging from caravan bags to small kids sleeping bags to big double bags. You know, as you can see, it's quite a range of stuff here and even doubles, which yet again, um, you can physically see the size of and if need be, get in and touch and feel. Sleeping moves on into sort of bedding. So not only we do we do a range of camp beds, whether it be single doubles or small sort of uh, more entry level ones, but we've got quite an extensive range of self-inflating mats, yet again, all on display, which you can happily try. Um, one thing you probably certainly see, I think me, things are sort of switching more towards self-inflating mats rather than air beds due to the sort of the reliability of them, but you can always check out our own blogs uh, or our Atwell's YouTube videos on those. Yeah, again, we do still do a, a nice, large range of air beds as well as 
typical sort of roll mats that you come to love with sort of trekking. Uh, and, you, and one thing you don't necessarily lack when you come to our shop is a mat of choice. You can see it's not just one brand, one size. You've got tons and tons of choice to look from, even including sort of bumper beds to pumps, which again, you can actually have out to touch and feel. Moving on into the rucksack area, we've got again, a lot of rucksacks. Mainly it's down to the fact that if you're looking for Duke and Vedder or just a general sort of day rucksack for school, rambling, you know, yet again, you've got a lot of choice here. Right at the back, anything from sort of dry bags, also just to sort of carry bags, which are perfect for flights. Uh, we've got some cargo bags situated at the front here as well, into inflatable sofa, sofas, settees, and sofa beds. And that kind of brings us into our main sort of furniture area. So our furniture area is, yet again, <laughs> quite big. So you've got tons and tons of choice, whether it be sort of kind of relaxers into small little uh, sort of three-legged stools, low tables, or most importantly, sort of kind of recliners. So you've got a lot going on here and then your classic sort of kind of camping chairs. So that maybe would range from sort of cheap and cheerful to, yet again, luxury. Chairs are not also about sort of footstools. So we've got a range of footstools as well. And one thing I do find that you do, if you come here on sort of a weekday or weekend, is the amount of people physically trying chairs. And yet again, all of them are quite happily accessible. So you can actually try before you buy, which is a, probably a bit of a novelty really. Into the main part, second part of the furniture area, we've got more chairs located down the back here, but then we've got your cupboard, wardrobes, and also uh, we've got tables situated down here. So what I think, again, is same sort of premise, you can physically see it before you buy it which I think, yet again, and we certainly have a lot of people who bring sort of stoves they've brought uh, from the other areas of shops, try them down and work out the sizes. So you can actually feel like you're in the camping area and really justify if it's the right product for you. So yet again, we've got all the stock located, easy to pick, so you can pretty much pick as you go and you can try it as you see. Moving into table area, quite a range of tables and same sort of theme going on here that everything is out to see. So if we've got it on display, we've got it in stock. That's kind of the premise we work with. And yet again, choice, <laughs> never, never short of it. Small little kids chairs. We have do a lovely little range of kids chairs yet again uh, with different animals, different styles, different colors, and even to a high chair as well. Uh, so it, like I said, choice is never a bad thing. One thing we do yet again has a nice big cool box range which you might see just past the tables here. Uh, so everything from passive cool boxes to thermoelectric boxes, uh, absorption, uh, so a mixture of everything from just a day trip all the way to something you're using constantly in sort of your camper van if you want to as well. And yet again, it's probably best to sort of have, uh, you're always welcome to use our members of staff experts advice about how each individual item works and what may be best for you. That kind of leads us back into, we've got a small sort of section of uh, dog beds, general things from hammocks to sitting mats, and all the, even down to the most important thing when you're away camping, your top trumps. You know, top trumps, your games, something to keep the kids entertained. You've got quite a good range of that, as well as cool bags, something just for general use. It doesn't have to be something just is camping based. It's also things that you can use every day in their own household as well. We've got quite a, uh, we've, because we stopped Barber, we also do the whole range of kind of Barber uh, dogs beds. So we've got dogs beds for Archie here, as well as uh, coats, and yet again, uh, blankets and things like that. So we've got quite a little nice range of bowls, which are actually quite nice. So it, it, it does vary quite a bit in what we do. Probably next point of call, I'll probably say, if we head on into um, certainly my favorite place, is the coffee shop. Plenty of homemade cakes, food, um, and yet again we do you know breakfasts. So you've got quite a range. And certainly I find it's quite an important thing when you're making a big decision, whether it be a tent or what the best sleeping bag is to go for, is sitting down, thinking about it with a couple of brochures and picking the right things for you. So we've got a range, like I said, of um, cooked food as well as cold food. So you, again, you can choose what you tend to go for. And that kind of then puts us more in towards the cooking theme into our cooking area at the back here.
So as we come in, first thing you see is obviously a, um, quite a big range of flasks, even to sort of bamboo, bamboo sort of uh, cooking, cooking stuff. And all you got in here is more flasks. Melamine, got a whole big range of melamine here, even to the bog standard sort of steel cups, bowls, and saucers as you would need to. Uh, quite a, a big range of kettles, as you can see, as well as just sort of hot plates, ovens, microwaves, toasters, uh, 12 volts, hair straighteners, you know, you name it, we pretty much do it. Even the oven. So you can pretty quite happily take the kitchen sink away with you. Oh, you yeah, again, a big range of melamine with different colors to choose from, as well as things from sort of uh, unbreakable glasses. And you can see there's quite a lot of goblets, even stuff down to kind of utensils. So we're talking uh, knives, spatulas, spoons, whatever you think, you know, there's quite a lot of here. Around the back, we go kind of into quunky little doormats, onto, uh, yet again, storage baskets, drainers, uh, collapsible colanders, buckets, airers, down the middle aisle, yet again, we've got things, little clippets, the Sistema stuff, so something you can store your food in. So when we talk about not necessarily everything you find uh, is just for camping, you've got a big range there. So even for just for the kids' lunch for school, you've got a, quite a big sort of a, a, a range of stuff to choose from. But then when it comes down to cooking, we've got small little crunky saucepans, small little stuff just for poaching your egg, whole sort of ranges of uh, cook sets as well as just single collapsible colanders or even collapsible um, sort of chopping boards and things like that as well. And then on the other side, what we've also got is the stove section. So everything from your camping gas, so your single sort of one use sort of stoves, selection of gas as well as hose. We have all of the regulators as well, yet again to choose what you want to go with. Carbon oxide detectors to smoke alarms to fuel burn stoves and yet again individual stoves on the shelf easy to pick up and then you've got a really nice section here so some higher powered uh, camping gas products so from your uh, accelerant stoves yet again to a more range of kettles at the back so as you can see there's quite a bit really to look at um, so what we'll now do is head on into the uh, tent area and also the awning area to give you a bit more of a, an idea about that. So now we're back in the tent area and I'll give you a bit more of a feel of what we've got on display as well as sort of again the magnitude of what we have under cover inside. So whether it be a rainy day or a beautiful sunshine day, it's somewhere to come to. So follow me. So the first thing we actually come into is kind of our sort of DV area or what I call probably our backpacking area. So we've got a range of sort of DV tents yet again on display as well as a huge range of sort of, uh, sort of first aid kits from dry bags to little things just for like going away traveling. So like uh, small little towels, uh, cutlery, bushcraft stuff. And yet again, most important for when you're going away is DV sort of food, so we've got Wayfarer food as well as sort of a range of dry food as well. And again, all themed in with the sort of Duke of Edinburgh tents. A range of specialised DV sleeping bags as well as things and just general walking poles. And that then brings us into our kind of cooking area for more summer use. So we're talking barbecues. So we've got a, quite a, a nice range of Kalak, uh, as well as things like Lotus Grill, uh, all the sort of Calic accessories and it's like I said, the whole thing is you can touch, feel it and see whether it's going to be probably suitable for your needs. Moving on, we'll probably head down the awning area next. So like I said, we've got a best part of about 20 awnings on display, a mixture of caravan awnings and also uh, motome and uh, sort of camper van awnings as well. So heading into sort of our main awning display, we've got obviously uh, a nice big sort of Vicala, so we've got a range of Van Gogh um, air awnings for caravans to um, a quite an extensive range of uh, awnings for camper. So things like the Frontier, the uh, Rally Plus, the Ace Air All Season, the Pole models. So yet again, you've got quite a choice. And yet again, with all those uh, awnings, there's quite a lot of optional extras you can look at. So we've got lights of things like your Sabre lights to your wheel arch covers to your rear upright poles. 
And yet again, you can see we've got quite a lot to choose from to storage organizers, mesh panels, we carry it all in stock. So it's one of those things that you can happily pick up and go if you're on your way down. We get a lot of people sort of, because we're literally just off the M5, so at junction 13, we get a lot of people sort of stopping by, grabbing something for on, on the way to go down. Heading around sort of this side of things, we've got, we do a range of sort of party tents as well. So sort of mini marquees, because uh, marquees is kind of in our blood. We've done best part of sort of marquees since sort of the early 40s. So again, it's still got a range of camping carpets, small little party tents as well, uh, as well as just general lighting for such awnings as well. Swift, moving on to something, maybe something that's not quite as big as a party tent, but something small like a little pop up shelter. A rain, we've got a nice sort of industrialised ones or general steel ones, so something that's a bit more affordable. And you can, again, you can still see it's all kind of in the awning area. When we get to the back, we're kind of into our area of driveways, as well as blown moulded tables, specifically designed for going into marquees. So you're getting quite a few driveway awnings on display. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different driveways, a mixture of air and also pulled. Uh, and yet again, you can kind of see back down there, we're talking more in the way of caravan awnings as well. So it's, it's one thing we've sort of certainly grown in terms of uh, what we have on display here, because it's sort of where the market's moving and it's getting more and more popular. As we sort of come back through this area, you, you see we've got driveways from Van Gogh Camper and even sort of Sun Camp. The last part of the caravan awnings located down there. So yet again, manufacturers from Camper, Quest, Sun Camp, Van Gogh, we do quite a range of that as well. And this is kind of the first part of the uh, tent area. So we've got, um, partly uh, inside of here and then we've got a marquee literally just a stone's throw away across our little drive and that sort of takes us into more tents. Like I said we're looking at about 40 tents up under cover so it's a mixture of everything from small backpacking tents all the way to massive big family tents. Some are away for the weekend and like I said with a mixture of pole and air as well so like I said choice never short of it here. So we've got like I said quite a, a decent size and yet again you can happily go in them each normal kind of one has carpets as well as occasional ones have extensions, extras all included on top of it. With all of the tents, yet again, you need either A, ability to transport it from where to be. So if you've got things for festivals, we've got a quite a nice range of those. And yet again, we carry all the sort of carpets, footprints, extensions, tarpaulings, all in stock, ready to go. To match that, we've also do uh, quite a, a big selection of windbreaks. So everything from sort of your traditional beach windbreak all the way working to sort of more of a upmarket sort of wooden pole to, to sort of steel pole as well. Okay, batch. Into, obviously back into a big round circle. So inside in the main showroom here, I think we've got about, I think it's about 22 tents up inside. Uh, and then in the marquee, which is just across the road, again, undercover, uh, we've got an additional sort of 18. So like I said, you've got a good range of small tents and you can kind of really kind of grasp how big kind of the shop is but let's head across the road now and head into the uh, new marquee so now we're outside the marquee and i'll just give you a bit of a, a brief tour of what you can actually come yet again visit us in our shop so come on in so this is actually one marquee that we design and manufacture ourselves um, and we've been doing so for many years now but it just offers a bit more additional space necessarily it's under cover, so even when it's raining, you've still got a lot of choice. So the first model we have as we walk in is like a rosewood, again, it offers something different. So we've got different brands in here from Van Gogh to Camper to Outwell, uh, even to sort of Royal as well. So head on down here, and again, you can sort of see the magnitude of how big this uh, extra space is with nice, beautiful glass windows at the front. So it just gives us a chance to have more ability to show different ranges on display, like I said, with the marquee here as well, we've got the best part of 40 tents up under cover. So you've got everything from small backpacking tents to huge big old areas as well, as well as particular ones with blackout bedrooms. But yeah, again, as we carry on round, we've got a mixture in here as well from all brands in the pole and air market, as well as a classic sort of teepee style as well. So whether it be something a bit more modern in technical cotton or something like the classic sort of teepee right at the back from Robins. So again, it's quite an offering. Yeah, again, also in, with gazebos into smaller tents or vis-a-vis -vis tents. So you've got different kind of layouts, different kind of situations. So you've really got a lot of choice. 
We've even got little sort of package deals on the go, as well as tents made particularly for a price point. So something that's more of an entry level, so nothing that's going to break the bank, but it's still very good value and good quality as well. Even toilet tents, or even, again, nice big gazebo event shelters from Coleman. So there's quite a mix here. Like I said, there's something really for everyone, not only in the shop, but also um, we also do a various amount of Bristol shows as well with tents, so you can always check that out uh, like so.